Welcome to today's session on the kinetic theory of matter. This fundamental concept in chemistry helps us understand how matter behaves in different states and how energy impacts particle motion. Let's dive into its key principles and explore the fascinating behaviors of solids, liquids, and gases. The kinetic theory of matter provides a framework for understanding the physical properties of matter based on particle motion. The theory assumes that all matter consists of tiny particles in constant motion. The amount of energy in these particles determines the state of matter, whether it's solid, liquid, or gas. Collisions between particles are perfectly elastic, meaning no energy is lost. Temperature is directly proportional to the average kinetic energy of particles. By exploring these principles, we gain insights into how matter transforms between states. Melting is the process where a solid turns into a liquid when heat is applied. On a molecular level, heating causes particles to vibrate more vigorously. As the temperature reaches the melting point, the intermolecular forces holding the solid structure weaken, allowing the solid to transition into a liquid state. This transformation beautifully illustrates the impact of energy on particle motion. Vaporization refers to the conversion of a liquid to a gas and occurs via evaporation or boiling. During evaporation, high-energy particles escape from the liquid surface, even below boiling point. Boiling, on the other hand, involves an increase in kinetic energy where particles throughout the liquid gain enough energy to turn into vapor. Both processes showcase how heat influences particle dynamics. Boiling is a rapid form of vaporization that occurs when a liquid's vapor pressure equals the atmospheric pressure. As heat energy is supplied, particles throughout the liquid gain sufficient kinetic energy to form vapor. This phase change releases gas bubbles, making boiling a dynamic and energetic transformation. Freezing is the opposite of melting, where a liquid becomes a solid upon cooling. Here, cooling reduces particle energy, causing them to slow down and arrange into a rigid, structured lattice. This phase change underscores the role of energy reduction in stabilizing matter. Brownian movement describes the random motion of particles resulting from collisions. It's more pronounced during high energy phase changes like melting and boiling, where particles are active and dynamic. Conversely, motion slows significantly during freezing and condensation, reflecting lower energy levels. Brownian motion offers a glimpse into the microscopic chaos of particle interactions. Let's look at some real-world examples of phase changes. Melting, ice turning to water at zero degrees Celsius. Vaporization, drying of a wet surface. Boiling, water boiling at 100 degrees Celsius. Freezing, water forming ice at zero degrees Celsius. Condensation, water droplets on a cold glass. These everyday examples connect theory to observable phenomena, making the kinetic theory more relatable. In summary, the kinetic theory explains the behavior of matter in various states and its transitions through particle motion and energy. By understanding molecular interactions, we can explain everyday phenomena like boiling water or freezing ice. This theory not only deepens our understanding of matter, but also provides practical insights into the natural world. Thanks for watching. To deepen your understanding of SI units, explore our comprehensive resources, including revision notes, past questions, gamified quizzes, and workbooks. These tools are designed to help you master the concepts effectively and enjoyably.